Uh, I'm delighted to speak to you all on the, for, on the occasion of the fourth Global Technology Summit. The Ministry of External Affairs has been partnering the Carnegie Endowment for some years in this regard, uh, and we are very privileged to work with you again. Uh, this year, the theme of the conference is the future of data, and I believe that there could be no more an ap appropriate a subject uh, at this point of time. As an external affairs minister who is uh, leading the country's foreign policy into a digital era, uh, I think the, the challenges presented uh, by, uh, the, uh, digit by technology uh, are something that uh, really the, uh, not just the professional diplomats but analysts and in many ways the larger community, the tech community has to uh, address very seriously. Obviously, from the foreign policy perspective, a digital uh, era means uh, a different method of communication and in many ways, perhaps even the agenda uh, for a digital era is very different where foreign policy is concerned as compared to what you might call the analog uh, era of foreign policy. Now, some of it is very obvious. I mean, clearly, uh, digital technology can be used for development. We see that happening. It is happening in society. The fact that so many of you have come to an event like this itself is a change. And uh, I mean, uh, in our own country, Bangalore, Bangalore is the uh, symbol of that change. Uh, Bangalore is the is really a digital city in in many ways. But digital uh, tools and digital practices are also very key for governance. Uh, they are particularly imp important if the uh, development strategy uh, is focused on leapfrogging. Uh, it's also very useful for a country, uh, for a society whose resources are limited and therefore how to optimize those resources uh, I think is best done uh, digitally. Now there's a consequence to that. Uh, and the consequence, of course, is what we see around us, uh, which is a growing emphasis on human resources. The fact that today we are increasingly talking of a knowledge-driven knowledge, dr knowledge -driven economy. In many ways, a knowledge-driven uh, society, knowledge-driven polity, and I dare say a knowledge-driven uh, foreign policy as well. Now, what are the challenges that from the foreign policy side we see? Uh, part of it is, uh, of course, issues like uh, relating to data privacy uh, and here what are the best practices of the world and how do we uh, contribute in different ways to the formulation of our own regulations uh, and uh, rules in this subject. Uh, there are naturally concerns about data security. Uh, I think uh, they are, these are today when we speak of national security, uh, today data security is a very important uh, part of uh, national security. Uh, another uh, very natural outcome, of course, is the commercialization of data, the monetization of data. And the fact that uh, uh, tr when we speak of trade, we speak even of investment, we speak of technology partnerships, a lot of these are going to revolve around data. And the country which uses this best in many ways would actually be the most powerful uh, economic player uh, in the international system. So, if we look at data, data actually now becomes, uh, the, there's the term data is the new oil, but I would say actually data is the new influence uh, in, in many ways. And these will be the big debates uh, and uh, I think part of the big debates as in other aspects of foreign policy is, do you allow the countries which have early leads to retain those leads or do you compete with those countries? And what do we do to set ourselves up uh, in a leadership position? If our aspiration is to be a leading power one day, we have to be a leading power in also harnessing data. Uh, so these are some of the issues I think today which confront uh, India. I am very glad that you will be debating these and other aspects uh, of, of uh, the digital era that we have entered. Uh, I convey my best wishes. I would have liked very much to be with you today, uh, but uh, uh, in not being able to do so, a digital uh, presence perhaps uh, is, is a good way uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, in a sense, uh, conveying my, my uh, uh, support for, for this conference. Thank you very much.